and a couple more times. So that swirling sound at the back of your throat. Good. And then we're going to go into the Kabbalah Bhakti breath. So the Kabbalah Bhakti breath will be pumping. So really working the diaphragm here and just do as many as you're able and then relax, come back and rest a bit, relax the shoulders and then come forward again, lean into your hands. Kind of pull your ribs kind of as if you were going to lift your rib cage over your kneecaps, draw your spine into your body, and again. Good. And if you're feeling super strong today, then we'll do the last one with the lift. So lift up and breathe. I got a big spasm there, which will often happen because the diaphragm is right at that spot. Breathe and you guys carry on. Okay, and let's do one more just so I can let my body get back into its state of normalcy and rhythm. Okay, and if you're going to do the lift, elbows in. Ooh, I'm really fighting tone, but that's still you know, workable if you breathe. So just keep working the breath. And relax it down if you did that part. Good, all right. Next, we're gonna be going into the strengthening work that Megan's designed for us. So grab your weight and we're gonna start off with the bicep curl. So. It's the bicep curl and press. So you're going to put the weight on. Let's start with your right hand. And we'll be bringing it into the shoulder like this and then turning the weight so that your, your palm is facing your midline and then up and then back to here. Turn it back into the bicep and lower. Okay, so 10 each side and begin. One. Two, three, don't forget that churn right here, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. Change sides. Left side. One, two. Three, four, oops, I forgot to turn on that one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, And 10, we did one extra, but that's okay. And release, good stuff. Okay, next is the sword pulse. So the sword pulse, remember what Megan says. So you wanna think about your arms being on this level as if they're at a, on a table. So it's tricky to keep the triceps there. And if you don't have a band, that's okay. So if you're just doing this like this, this would be the movement. Right? If you've got a band, then add the band into the movement and we'll do 10. So your, your both elbows are supposed to be up. Okay. 
that's it. Keep the, the left arm straight as possible. The right arm's pulling. My elbow's dipping a bit near the end because it's getting tired. Nine and 10, good, and we'll change sides. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. And put your weights down or your stretchy down. The next one is to do a curl into a sort of a cat cow position. So bring your rolled up towel or whatever you've got on your lap close into your navel, and then put your hands beside your knees. And then round your body. So round the elbows, make a big beach ball and round the back. And you can use your ujjayi breath here, especially to kind of on the really fill out the back body. See if you can really get your breath all the way into your back ribs, into your back lungs, making a nice round body. Good, excellent. And then inhale. Come on up, bring your elbows in as you push up and bring your hands back now behind you, close to the back of the wheel if you are able, if you're in a manual, but if you're on a power chair, if you had your arms right here, that would work too. And with my arms back behind me, we're going to lift and go backwards just a bit. Now, if you can straighten your arms and really arch your back, that's great. If not, just here or putting the head up is totally fine. Even just looking up, you're going to be getting extension. So full rich breath. Good. And then exhale, release and come back down to midline and then do a seat lift. So just lifting off of your seat, a seat dip and down and another and down. Good. And then we're going to repeat everything one more time. So going back to the bicep curls. So grab your weight, put it on the right hand. And we're gonna be doing 10. So when you're ready, begin. One, switch and up. Here and turn it and down. Two, turn and up turn and down, three and up, turn and down, four, turn and up, turn and down, five and up, turn and down, six, good, seven, eight, nine, and 10, coming up, one more here. Yes, awesome, other side. Okay, bicep curl into press, turn and down. Bring it up, turn, up two, turn up three, and turn it up and four. Turn up and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I always throw an extra one in, sorry about that, but it's okay. All right, and into the strap with your stretchy band, your elastic, or whatever's working for you for the sword pulls, getting our triceps, and 10 of these on the left, and one, and two, and three, and four. Keep the elbows level to the floor if you can. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and release and change sides. And one, and two, three, 
Go at your speed. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. And one more the other side. One more set. One, whoops, two, three, pull at your speed. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good stuff. Drop that down and we'll do the curl into the cat cow. So pull your, your roll into the mat or into your waist and get your elbows kind of like a beach ball and then come bringing your sort of chin tucked towards your chest, elbows kind of stretching away from each other and really rounding your back and finding that ujjayi breath. Good, and then inhale up, bring your hands behind you into the extension where you're gonna press into the back wheel or into the armrest and really arch your body from your pubic bone all the way up to the crown of your head without kind of bringing your shoulders up. So relax the back of the neck and the shoulders. If you can't breathe, then you're too far and come back to midline and do a seat lift to a dip. If you wanna dip once or twice here and release down. Excellent. Okay, and now we're gonna go over to our trusty table. And we're gonna be doing a warrior to start off with. So park yourself sideways on the table at the table, I should say, and far enough out that you're not too close to the table that you can lean your body toward it. And I happen to have my um, something on the table that slides that's really nice to have there because we're going to be moving out toward the left. So if your left arm is on the table, that's where I am. Otherwise, you could change sides or just do it on your right and just remember to switch things around in your mind and then bring your arm out to your left arm out to the table or the block and then inhale the right arm up and then start to let the right arm move toward the left and try to make the arms parallel bringing the palms facing each other and bringing your right arm so that your tricep and your bicep are right at your ear so the arm isn't forward so the arm is quite back so you want it back as far as it'll go over the head toward the left and breathe. Good, and then inhale, pull up and out and just rest there for a minute. And we're gonna go forward now all the way down. So hopefully you've got your rolled up something on your lap. Bring your hands next to your knees Elbows stay close to your waist and we're going to come forward and we're going to extend. So see if you can feel that same spine when we talk about extension that you had just a few minutes ago when you had your arms behind you, but now you're pulling the spine into your body and you're extending it from the pubic bone right up toward your chin, right up to your collarbones, pulling the spine up. Good, and now relax the chin toward the chest and then the whole body rolls down. And you're gonna bring your arms, if you're able, all the way down to your feet and then let the head go. Relax the neck, relaxing the arms, allowing all of your belly to empty out. 
So really feeling that roll in your belly, making it an empty belly, and even using that sense of empty belly as you empty your breath, and you can really pull your navel back. After you've had a couple really good rounds of breath here, bring your hands beside your knees, keep your elbows in at your waist, Kate, that's too noisy. And then do your puffer breath. To come back up. Excellent. Good. And then we're going to change sides. So you turn yourselves around so that your right arm is at your table. I'm not going to turn around because I won't be able to see you. And you won't be able to see me as well or hear me. So get yourself positioned at the right side, bringing your right arm out now to the table and then inhale up through the left arm, reach, 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 all the way over toward that far left palm or right palm with your left palm. See if you can get your two palms to face each other and be right above each other. It's never gonna happen, but that's the trajectory and use your breath here to really breathe into your side ribs Side ribs and the side bodies are so important and we really don't get enough of them when we're sitting in a chair. So it's really good to work these, ex, these uh, lats and various different side body muscles. Good, and then inhale, pull up and come back to your midline. Good, let's just shrug the shoulders up towards the ears, press the upper arm bones back and relax your elbows down before we set up for another roll forward. So bring your hands again beside your knees and bring yourself into an extended position by really pulling as if you were kind of pulling your front ribs over your kneecaps, trying to get them over the kneecaps, spine into your body, shoulders relaxing down. So milking the shoulders down at the same time as broadening your collarbones. Breathe. And now release it forward, taking that extended spine all the way over your roll, all the way over your lap, and bringing your arms eventually down towards your toes, relaxing the head and the neck, and feeling your breath as you breathe three nice full ujjayi breaths there. Each breath should be an invitation to let the shoulders release more, Create more space between the vertebrae and the spine. Feel the breath emptying out of your lower belly. Relaxing the back and neck. Good. And then bringing your hands now beside your knees, placing the palms flat, and then using your puffer breath, whoosh, elbows in to puff your way back up to your midline. Good, okay. So that's one set of those. And then we're gonna just do our push up. So this is our strength and mobility. So we've got just a little bit of strength left, hopefully. So you're facing the table now and you're about an arm's distance away from the table. Bringing your palms onto the table. And all we're doing here is just dipping the elbows down and then pushing up. And you're not going down too far. You want to go to where you feel like you might fall forward and push up. And elbows stay parallel to each other. As much as you can, just drop the elbows toward the floor. Don't let them flan out to the sides. That's three, and we're going to do 10. Four, keep breathing, five, six, and if you dip a bit lower, that's actually harder and better in some ways to challenge yourself. Uh, eight, nine, 10. Good. And then have a drink of water and we are going to move into our closing sequence. Good work. So as you get settled into 
the spot where you feel comfortable and relaxed and centered. I'm going to have a little drink of water. And then we're going to be doing our mindfulness and our breathing to close. A lot of people are starting to turn on to mindfulness and it's really great. Um, and I can tell you more about it. And I also have a lot on my YouTube channel. So if you ever want to do a practice, you can always go there. And also the SCI new website, which I will put in my next email to you, um, has an, a, their own channel on YouTube, which has a whole bunch of um, mindfulness um, practices that I did for them. So there's, there's lots of resources for that. So find yourself in a nice dignified position and allow yourself to then close your eyes and tune in to your inner landscape. And at first, just allow your awareness to take everything in, just like you just landed on a beautiful beach and you're really enthralled by, you know, all the different sights and sounds. So notice all that you can feeling into all of your different senses. So your, your feeling of touch. So feel the weight of your body as you take maybe three nice deep breaths right now. Just fill in your lungs. And releasing. And don't strain, just take three nice full breaths so that you can really notice just the, the sense of breathing for a moment with your eyes closed. And at the end of your last exhale of that third breath, just let your breathing move into a conscious, an unconscious rhythm as it is for most of our day. And tune into now the sensory body, noticing again that weight. So how does the weight and the gravity feel for you right now? Can you surrender to gravity, really surrender to it. Let gravity totally kind of encompass your being, just like you were a camera in a nice padded camera bag. Everything around you feels like it's supported. Gravity doing that work. And then allow the sense of the weight of the body to maybe tune you into where you feel your body weight. So do you notice it at the backrest? Do you notice your weight in the, in the seat? Or perhaps at the feet? Likely at the hands and the arms. And releasing any tension as you relax on your exhales. And then noticing the sense of smell do you smell anything? And as you smell, noticing the movement of breath, and that's also in your sensory touch body as the breath moves in and out. And perhaps as you are noticing the breath, you may also notice the taste inside your mouth. And you could invite relaxation into the the juicy muscles and the cheekbones and the cheek region, relaxing even the jaw, perhaps even feeling like your tongue can just broaden slightly and kind of float up to the roof of your mouth as you relax deeply into the throat, the back of the neck and the shoulders. And as you do relax more and more, feeling that you can increase the relaxation by even noticing your sensory sight right now without looking or opening your eyes, just seeing behind your closed eyes. Perhaps you see just a blank screen. Perhaps you notice this flickering light whatever you notice in that space behind your eyes. And then tune your sensory body to your hearing. 
and listen. Remaining still and really we're training the mind right now. You know, it's like any muscle in the body, it needs to be trained. And that's why mindfulness and meditation are so effective. So keeping your attention focused on what you decide, not what uh, the thoughts or the old emotions or the what you did an hour ago or what you have to do four hours from now. So this is the training. And then allowing that sense of hearing to bring your awareness and the aperture way out. So see if you can stretch your awareness to outside of the room you're in. Hearing perhaps the sounds on the street or in your garden. And then bring the aperture of awareness back into your own room. Noticing my voice perhaps and any other sounds. And then allowing that aperture now to gently relax as you soften everything and just observe for the last moment. Taking in your energy in a way that allows you to feel fresh and revived. And I won't ding the bell, but I'll just go. And we'll finish by coming back and opening your eyes. And we're right on time at 1.30. So I'm really glad that you're all here and I'm also going to mention and remind you that there's a nice little set of these massage balls that's up for the draw for this week which will draw on Saturday and those questions were put into the newsletter uh, that you get from Eventbrite that I send out and if you don't get it maybe let me know because sometimes your browser might um, might look at it as spam, I'm not sure, but um, if that's an issue, just let me know. And if there's any questions or comments, I'm happy to answer or respond in any, in the best way I can. <laughs>